let's have a talk. So hello artist, welcome to the Everything Art. Today I'm going to be talking about you, what it means like to be an artist and like the reason why I do art. So I have been doing art like my whole life and I've been getting better at it and I'm doing more things. Like I remember when I just started with just coloring and drawing and everything. And now I am literally doing sewing, crocheting, origami, clay. Like it's so crazy just to like experiment with like all of these different like techniques and art styles that other people do. And it's like really cool. And recently I did try wool art, if you saw in one of the later videos, which is like really, really cool to try different types of art because like p other people like do different types of art. Like even nail art is art, baking art, pretty much like anything is art, music is art. Like if you don't do art and if you're not an artist, like, you're probably still doing art in one way or another. Like, with sports. That's literally art. Like, you're making a masterpiece when you score. And you're making, like, wins, which is, like, a masterpiece. It's, like, really cool. And basically, art just ex inspires me to, like, step out of my comfort zone sometimes. And, like, just express my feelings. And, and I feel like that's with anything, like, not just art. And all of you artists out there who, like, watch art videos, and just like me, like, watch my videos and everything, I know one day you will be something amazing. All artists will. Even if you're not an artist, you will be something amazing one day. And you just might not know it yet. I mean, you might not know it your entire life, but one day... Your will means something special to somebody else. And in art, you can express your feelings. Like when you're angry, you can do maybe just like a red, really cool looking thing. Or maybe like flames for anger and really, really cool stuff. Or maybe when you're sad, you can do like swirls. Like you just don't know where you are, like with confusion and blue or maybe black and white, which is really cool. And then happiness is like colorful and everything. <clears throat> or even happiness can be black and white too. And it's like really cool that you can express yourself with art. I challenge you artists out there to try something new in art. Like maybe origami. Maybe you don't draw. Maybe draw like a, just like a doodle. Maybe just like a cat or something. Just try something new in art. It can be anything. And maybe it'll be your new favorite thing in art. Who knows? For me, my favorite... I really like crocheting. And my art teachers have definitely helped me with crocheting. And I'm friends with one of my art teachers. <laughs> so she helps me out with that sometimes. Um... I really like sewing. Sewing's pretty cool. Wool art, I really like too. That was really fun. Um, for me, the worst, like, not my favorite art style is painting. I don't know why. It just makes me frustrated. But I will do painting videos in the future. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm not blocking that out. Because I know other people like it too. I mean... I am getting better at it. I am liking it a bit more, but it's not one of my favorites. Since you are watching this video, I will tell you some of the vid upcoming videos that I want to do. So I do want to do a sewing videos. I want to try using my other hand because that's really cool. Like challenging myself to like crochet with my left hand. I know I made a crocheting video of left-handed, but I just literally flipped the video. It's pretty simple. Um, but I'm actually going to try, like, sewing left-handed. No, I'm not going to try that. <laughs> I'm going to try drawing left-handed, knitting left-handed. I, I do want to um, post a video on how to knit, too. 
But that's besides the point. The reason I do art is to make other people happy. Because most of the times when other people see my art, it just puts a smile on their face. And sometimes I want other people to try art so they can feel happier too. Art has always been a part of me and I feel like it will, it will definitely be a part of me until I die. Even after I die, it'll definitely be a part of me. I just hope this video really inspires you to push your limits in art. Maybe like you're just sticking with drawing and you're like, I can't do anything else. I can't move my hands for crocheting. Maybe you're good at folding paper and making origami. Maybe you're good at sculptures and making clay. Just push yourself out of your comfort zone and like try new other art styles or try new other sports if you're athletic or try new instruments or anything in any genre of hobbies, you know? Read a super hard book if you're really into reading. Um, maybe take a better photo if you're into phot photography. And maybe if you're an artist, go take a photo outside and draw it. It might be one of your best drawings, best colorings ever. And art definitely gets me through hard times, especially for school. Art really helps me through school and it makes me calmer. It makes me like feel like I can like go to school and just come home feeling great. And then after I'm done with homework, I do art. That's all I do every single day. I've been doing art every single day for years. And that just makes me so happy because I get to enjoy what I love to do every single day. Even like if I'm at a different place, I can do art. You know, I could braid my hair. That's art. Stylists. Art. I could... <laughs> Basically what I'm saying is pretty much everything is art. And I love watching other people do art too. It just makes me so happy. I'm so impressed with everybody's talent in art. Even if you're just starting art, like it's so good. With my sister Layla, when she does art sometimes, I'm like actually surprised. Like I'm like, you did that? You did that? That's so good. Even though she isn't, a great artist. She does lots of drawings and colorings and I think her colorings are her art style but she really really loves to sew because she pushed out of her comfort zone and she tried sewing for the first time. She loves hand sewing. She always wants it. She wants to do my sewing machine. She wants to sew pillows. <laughs> And that just makes me so happy. And like for me to teach you about like art stuff just makes me so happy. It really does. I mean, look at this. I've been smiling literally this whole video. <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh, speaking of which, I actually just started crocheting like a year or two ago because um, my teacher taught me how to crochet and I really got into it. And this is actually one of my first things that I've crocheted. It's a cute little rooster. No, it does not look the greatest, but like I did it and I gotten better. And I know that you guys can do it too. And basically art is like everything. It, it, it just like, it's so, amazing it's so magical it, it can like bring you into a place of imagination and like you can create anything that you want in art anything at all just with one pencil or crochet hook or paper you can make anything with those and it's just like creating your own world and making your own stuff, it's just really, really cool. And it brings you into like this whole different dimension of creations that you've created. And it's really, really cool. And I know that you 
can be a great, great artist one day. If you just keep trying, you can do it. I know you can. All of you artists who are watching me or watching other artists or not even watching any artists at all and you're doing your own thing, you're going to be something amazing. I can feel it. Even if you don't even have any art supplies and you want to be an artist, you're going to be something amazing. You're going to make something. It can be anything. You can make something. And somebody will remember you for that. And that is what makes art so special, so unique, so creative, so fun. And mistakes don't matter in art. Just, if you make a mistake, oh well, move on. That's what makes your art even more unique. It does not have to be perfect. Do you see some some of those famous artists who just splatter art and express their feelings? They could have made a million mistakes right there, yet it looks so unique and they're beautiful. Art is a beautiful thing and I think you should keep sticking with that and keep going with it. Even if you're a musician, that's art. If you're an editor, that's art. You're making things. You're making art. You're making memories. You are making a world of your own. I believe in each one of you. You will accomplish something amazing one day. I know it. And that is the reason why I do art. So... Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you got something out of this. And I hope I definitely inspired you to like keep moving forward with art and keep creating things. So thank you so much for watching. And that's why I always say, don't forget to stay creative. Bye.